Good morning. Welcome to Rita's Hen House. I just got two or three things to talk about this morning. Y'all just have to chat with me while I ramble on, because that's what I do. Y'all, you know that. What have I got to talk about? Well, it is uh, Ju June. It's September the 30th. I guess this is the last day of September. And I wanted to talk just a little bit about what a mail opening I had yesterday that me and Millie opened. Look what Garrett Jailbait and Tackle Outdoors sent me. This sweet little can. I'm not exactly sure if I need to get something to go in it or set it behind me up by the stove and put utensils in it. But it fits me, don't it? And that's not all that Gary Jailbait sent. I'd opened up the box and I was paying so much attention to this sweet little gift that in the bottom of the box I almost missed the card and the card says Rita and Millie on it and I opened it up I opened up the card and I said this was on a separate video on the Quilted Chicken Farm channel but Hello, Rita. Sorry for the delay getting this gift to you. Get Millie a happy mail with the $5. <laughs> so I didn't send the money home with her, but we're going to get Millie something with that. I'm not sure we'll get her a happy mail, but I'll see that Millie gets something with that, Gary. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you watched the other video, and you did, I think Millie told you thank you too. But... Got some mail, and I've decided I'm going to use this box till I can do better to put the recipes in that's coming. Y'all know those recipes that are coming? Well, there was, there was two yesterday. We got Joy and Jackie's yesterday, so they're in this box. But look, I've got four now. Now I've got four more to open up. So let's open these up and see what we got. Oh, got Sheila. Sheila in Oklahoma, Sheila Gage. See what Sheila sent. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna tilt it down just a little bit. This is from Sheila. Ooh, got Mexican chicken. I like Mexican chicken. Oh, with the Doritos. If y'all had Mexican chicken with the bag of Doritos, that's good. I like it. Chocolate pie. Who don't like chocolate pie? Let's see. I don't... Yeah, I see Sheila's name on it. I want to make sure y'all put your names on it. And potatoes au gratin. Is that how you say that? Potatoes au gratin. <laughs> au gratin. I don't, I don't say things right. I've got a country accent, country raisin, so I don't talk right. But those are all, those are all good recipes. Thank you for sharing them, Sheila. They'll, if and when I ever get that book started, I want y'all's recipes to be in it. So those are some good ones, along with these others. I'm going to put them right there. Now, who have I got now? I've got Teresa Meeks and David Meeks. Got two of them, from both of them, from Alabama. These come from Alabama. Let me open this one up. Open it the right way. Don't want to tear those envelopes all up, because I'm going to have to save them, because whoever wins, I want, the, I want to make sure there's an address, a good address to send it to. So I'm not messing up these envelopes because that's what we're going to use for my drawing after my birthday that I'm going to give to you, one of you guys. See what Teresa said. Teresa's a crocheter. Teresa makes Mason Dixon chicken soup. And... The uh, soup and carrot recipes are mine, but the cake recipe's been in my family for over a hundred years. So we got Mason, Mason Dixon chicken soup. Ooh, that sounds good. Got chicken and broccoli. That sounds good. Glazed carrots. 
That sounds good, too. And Grandma Mary's old standby. You know, that's a cake recipe that I've been looking for. I've got a story behind the chocolate cake. For me and my, my my friend from high school was in this little contest in home ec class. And she won first place with a chocolate cake. And I think this was it. She won first place. I come in second. Mine wasn't a chocolate cake. But, but, but I still love that story. But that friend, she passed away last summer. Or this past summer. But she won first and I won second. So those are some good ones. Now, let's see what David, what David's got in his envelope. David put super, super sonic, super soup. Now, that'd be one of them things that I'd like to make sometimes real quick in the middle of the day. Fast soup. Fast soup. Supersonic fast. That's what we need sometimes. And Italian taters. Now that sounds good too. Yeah, I'd make them too. And Quaker Vanishing Oatmeal Raisin Cookies. And I'm looking. Well, cranberries. My husband loves uh, oatmeal cookies. That's not his favorite. His favorite is pecan, brown sugar pecan rounds. But his next favorite is probably oatmeal. Those are some good ones. Those are some keepers too. Got one more here. We have Irish Cell Lady. Linda, the Irish Cell Lady from St. Augustine, Florida. Let's see. And I've got a good address. That's what I'm. Y'all make sure you have a good address on them. Because sometimes when people win these prizes on these channels, it's hard to get an address from them. And I'm, I'm not going to share your addresses with anybody. They're just make it easy when the time comes. And her three recipes. I have more favorite, but my family seems to like these the best. I, I won't read the whole letter to you. And P.S. She started collecting vegetable and fruit material to make the cannon jar quilt. I'm still going to do that. Y'all think I've forgotten, but I hadn't. Marla sent me that fabric, and I'm going to get back at it. See what we got here. Perfect apple pie. That's a good one. We all love apple pie. That's a, that's a good one. And potatoes and asparagus quiche. Mmm. Oh, it's got puff pastry. And I've oh, got one more here. Potato and asparagus quiche and creamy basil pa pasta Ooh, that sounds good too <gasps> so that's my mail opening with the recipes and who they come from and what was in there what we already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven. Then got eighteen recipes in this cookbook. And this cookbook's still coming from y'all and up here in my head. <laughs> and it's not gonna be anything fancy. I, I'm gonna self publish it and self bind it. It's not gonna be anything fancy, but it's just something that I wanna do. And it may be the middle of winter before I even get started on it. Well it will be. If it's not till after November. So there we go. And I'm going to put them in my box for safekeeping. And I put a little little sticker on this box. Rita's Roost Feeding the Flock. And the little these little stickers came from Vicki Wells. Alrighty. That's it for me this morning. I'm, I'm enjoying getting the mail and seeing what you guys are sending. 
giving a quilt away is just worth seeing who sends recipes and what they are and giving me, inspiring me to do something else. I hope I inspire you guys because I know you guys inspire me. So, I'll see y'all later. Love you. Bye. Y'all have a blessed Saturday.